Alright guys, how's it going? This is something a little bit different today. This is going to be my top 10 uh, favourite PS2 game covers. I've done something like this uh, in the past. I did my top 5 and worst 5 uh, PS3 game covers. Uh, it be about a year ago actually. So I've decided to do that with PS2 games. Uh, I've got a top 10 PS2 games uh, covers here. Uh, I'm going to make a top 10 uh, worst uh, PS2 game covers. And I'll probably do a top 10 and... Uh, worst 10 PS1 game covers as well, and I might do redo PS3, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so yeah, I've not got these in any particular order, just 10 covers that I really like the look of. Um, but yeah, I've not got uh, any rankings for them or anything, so let's get straight on with it. First game is Manhunt. Now, I don't know why, but I really like this cover. I just think it looks really sick and a bit twisted. And for some reason, I kind of like it, so it's a manhunt for you. Makes the game look a bit, you know, interesting. Next, I've not got any sports titles in this, by the way, guys. I've got some recent games, but no sports games. Uh, so next, we have Burnout Free Takedown. Fortunately, not played much of this game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the cover looks really good. You know, there's cars exploding and stuff like that. It looks like a really good game. Fast cars, explosive action. Um, yeah, I just think it's a really nice cover. Maybe a little bit, a little bit too much white, maybe, but I still think it's a fantastic cover. Next is another Burnout game, Burnout Dominator. I'm sure you can tell why I like this cover, guys. Look at that. Head-to-head -head collision. Looks fantastic. You know, there's cars, uh, there's wheels flying everywhere. Um, it looks fantastic. And fortunately, it looks a lot better than what the game actually is. I do like the game, but, you know... The uh, cover makes it look a lot better than what it actually is, but it's still a fun game. Next, we have Space Invaders Anniversary. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I'm sure you know why I like that. It shines, you know. It shines uh, the alien. It uh, looks fantastic in my opinion. It looks really catchy. It really catches the eye. And in my opinion, it makes the top ten for me anyway. Fantastic. Next is Ghost Hunter. So, you know, I do like my horror games, my scary games, so I just think this cover looks fantastic. It looks like the guys in the graveyard, uh, obviously a lot of ghosts and that in the background. It just looks really uh, fantastic, it looks scary as hell. And it's quite a creepy game, actually, so uh, the cover does do it justice. So, I really like that cover. Next, we have Test Drive Unlimited. I don't know why, I really like this cover. Uh, it's got a uh, Lamborghini and a uh, Ford... Uh, GT40 on the cover. It looks really good, you know, it looks like a really fast paced uh, racing game. And yeah, I just, I just really like the look of it. I like the colours. And yeah, I love the cover. <laughs> so there we go. Next is probably one of my favourites actually Alone in the Dark, A New Nightmare. Just look at that cover. This cover looks as sinister as hell. I mean, you look, you've got uh, a spooky house, you know, just black and yellow. It's just, Really creepy. I don't know something about the cover. This looks really, really, uh, really, really creepy. And um, yeah, it looks like a really scary and fantastic looking game. So I love that cover. I really do. Probably one of my favourites on the PS2. Now a racing game. Uh, Need for Speed Carbon. Uh, I don't know why. I've just got a thing of you know fast cars, like fast sporty cars in the dark. I just think they look fantastic. You know, fantastic pictures and that you get. I best sports cars and in the street at night. It's fantastic. And yeah, I think that's my favourite um, Need for Speed cover, I would say, out of all the Need for, uh, Need for Speed games. And yeah, it's in my top 10 PS2 as well. Next we have Devil May Cry 3, Dante's Awakening. You know, Dante's such a badass. You know, he's standing on top of dead bodies, I think, or skulls there. Uh, it was Bumming big sword and stuff, so it looks fantastic. Really, really badass cover, and I really, really like it. And the last one is Kingdom Hearts 2, which is also very shiny. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Uh, I just think, you know, shiny game covers to really, really catch your eye. I bloody love them. A bit of a bit of magpie, I suppose you could say, when it comes to game covers. I love shiny covers, They're fantastic. Um, so yeah, of course you've got Donald and Goofy and Mickey Mouse now on the cover. This looks epic as hell. And, you know, really, really um, amazing cover. So that's probably high on my list as well. So then I guess that was my top 10 PS2 game covers. Um, if anyone wants to make a video response, uh, feel free. 
Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you on the next video. See you guys. Thanks for watching.